Hey guys, welcome back. This is MD, and these are the things I wish I knew before playing Project Zero Maiden of Blackwater. Actually, the game tells you a lot, but there are certain things that will still help you out and get you a lot of points and make your life easier or your journey playing the game easier. So, the first thing is make sure that your camera is ready. I mean, always. Uh, holding the button for the camera to trigger it any time that you need to especially because there are some ghosts which will which will just pop up for like few seconds and you need to like be fast you know take the pictures and get a lot of points because if you miss them and you try to restart or restart the checkpoint sometimes you might restart the whole chapter again so yeah that's a bad idea so always be ready whenever there's a chance the game will tell you something is up with the icons or the signs pick up camera take pictures Next is upgrade the lenses, you know, the lenses that matter the most, that does the damage uh, the most, you know. The rest, focus on them later. I mean, like for me, I'm just focusing on the lenses that deal the most damage or, you know, make it, uh, what's, it called the, uh, uh, what's it called, the distance, you know, a bit better. Uh, even the camera itself, you know, does more damage, or reload faster on all of these things. Also the film, don't be stingy when it comes to film. You will get a lot of films when you're like searching around, you know, finding the items. So use the ones which deal the most damage, not the 07. 07 is basically useless. And the other films that are very, very slow. So keep those for later, but whatever the good ones you have, use them because you will get a lot, a lot. So yeah, uh, don't be stingy with that. So here you can see I'm, I'm, I'm only choosing the ones uh, that deal the most damage. I'm not choosing the ones with the health. To be honest, you get a lot of health uh, options as well. Uh, maybe it will be more helpful if you're playing the, the nightmare difficulty, but for the normal and the easy difficulty, you don't need that. Uh, this is why I was like fix, focusing mainly for the damage dealing one. Uh, these, the, there are some lenses which will make the, uh, the the ghost a bit slower. That can be helpful if you are like in a very very tight space. You know you can use that one uh, and upgrade that one. But yeah, to get a lot of point, you need to like grind a lot. So this is why I advise you just to focus on the correct or the most useful ones or the ones that you use the most. And the films, just use whatever you find or the best ones don't you know just just keep them uh, they're using if you keep them also make sure that you always have some embers and mirror stones and all of these other items with you like sacred water and medicine especially embers embers can like save you sometimes you know a little bit of your health for example you can see that flower that means that you're affected by the black water and these hands with the ghost hands can attack you if you're trying to pick up an item so if you use an ember you are actually gonna remove that black water uh, effect and nobody will like you know like grab your hand if you're picking up, up, up an item but yeah also the mirror stone can be helpful uh, you can see it if you die it will bring you back to life the second water will fill your health fully the herbal medicine will just bump your health uh, a little bit uh, you know just a little bit but yeah since we use the ember now we can grab that item without any effect but make sure that you don't get back into the water as you can see now i'm getting uh, the black water effect again so the hands can attack me again but for the hands just lightly press the r2 button or the o button and you can see the hand coming up you know just just be light and release it as soon as you see the hand and avoid this you know uh, this headache headache to be honest where you need to like smash the button one thing to remember is do not use a purifying ember when it's raining because if it's raining and if you use a purifying ember then you're just wasting it because rain will make you wet and you will get affected by the black water once more so yeah just be careful on that you know make sure it's dry make sure you don't get into water again make sure you're not in a pool also uh, let's uh, talk about one of these points is that you need to hit a monster once to get these uh, circle orbs and when there are like five circles then you will deal the most damage but it's a good idea to put more than one monster inside the frame to deal or to have that critical damage. There's also another thing called fatal frame, is that if you hold the R1 and L1 sorry, and lock at the monster, and as they're about to come near you, you will be able to press L1 or, do, or just the attack button, and you can deal a lot of damage. I mean, you can do, deal the damage you know, by, by just having five circles. You can move the frame. Also, if you lock in and as soon as the monster is near you, you can either dodge or you will see the camera is turning red. You can see that 
like little like orb or the that thing turning red that means that that is the time and you can press that l1 or the r2 continuously you know there is no uh breaks there is no reload time so use that to your advantage especially if you're in tight corners and somebody's trying to attack you it's really 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 helpful you can either dodge or do this lock on the monster wait for the that sound you know that trick is ticking sound or just look at that uh circle or the orb turn red and just keep smashing that but it will deal a lot of damage within five or six seconds you know just just it, it will make, make your life easier really really easier and i i was not using it but i learned this late uh, in the game but as you can see now i can't like lock on this monster but if i can lock on this monster i can actually i'm just going to trigger him once so i will have that lock on thing now now it's lock on you can see the health you can see the health he's coming near me and I, as soon as it turns red I, i'm just a smash 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 and look at the health almost dead that's it dead within seconds you know using the fatal frame kill and that's how you do it guys and as always guys thanks for watching hopefully these things are helpful hopefully explain some of uh, the things in the game and as always guys thanks for following thanks for watching stay awesome guys follow our channel follow our instagram page and reddit and stay awesome